welcome once again to my Blackstone Griddle. Today I want to make for you some bourbon chicken. Just like you get at the food court at the mall. Well, in fact, better than what you get at the food court at the mall. Because this is my recipe that I have refined over time and added and subtracted things too. I think you're going to like it. There's a lot of ingredients, but I think if you bear with me, it'll be rewarding. So, uh, yeah, food court. Uh, bourbon chicken is an iconic stuff. Let's start out with some uh, brown sugar. How much brown sugar is that? That's a half a cup of brown sugar. Oh, the the uh, the uh, recipe will be in the description if you want exact uh, measurements and stuff. Half a cup of brown sugar, quarter cup of apple juice in there in that brown sugar. I didn't bring anything to stir with. Uh, and we need a quarter cup of chicken broth. I did bring my measuring spoons though, I don't want to stir with them. Quarter cup of chicken broth in there. Most of these are going to be a quarter cup measures. Need a quarter cup of soy sauce. Ah, soy sauce, quarter cup. There you go quarter cup of soy sauce. I'm going to eventually have to stir this. A uh, quarter cup of soy sauce. What's next? Oh, a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. So we've got apple juice and apple cider vinegar. I did bring my teaspoon measure. Okay. Maybe I could use my teaspoon measure to stir with. Why not? Who cares? <laughs> there you go. Okay. All right, now we need some uh, ketchup, a quarter cup of ketchup. I don't want to dirty up my ketchup measure, so I'm just going to eyeball that. Oh, it made a new rude noise. A quarter cup of ketchup in there. Okay. Like I said, don't worry about writing this down because it'll all be in the description. If you want to make this yourself, you can just look in the description and print out the recipe. This is my recipe for bourbon chicken, okay, and here's something, uh, ginger paste, you need about a tablespoon of ginger paste, don't be afraid to use ginger paste in this, it's too hard to deal with ginger, you know, having to cut it up, the only thing you can do is grate it, that's the only way you can make it uh, decent, it would be to grate it, or use this, use this ginger paste, it works fine, tastes excellent, it'll be fine in my bourbon chicken sauce. Okay, here's something that uh, not a lot of people know about. This is Jamaican browning spice. And what it is, it's a caramel color. Caramel uh, water, caramel modified cornstarch. And we only need a little bit of this. And what this does is it gives it a great, a great caramel, shut up dog, a great caramel color. It adds color to your dish. So don't skip on this. If you can get this, uh, make sure you use this stuff. This is good stuff. Jamaican browning spice. Don't skip on that. Also, let's put a little bit of red pepper flakes in there to bring a little bit of heat. Let's call it a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. That's good stuff. And our sauce is coming together. Uh, there's only one thing missing. Guess what that is? bourbon. I gotta go in the house and get the bourbon. Stay tuned. Okay, the most important thing, some bourbon. Maker's Mark Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This is good bourbon. Now I see guys making this dish on the internet and they put like, uh, they put, they put in like a little bit of bourbon. You know, what I'm saying is, you're gonna put bourbon in there. Put some bourbon in there, you know what I mean? You know, I call for a cup of bourbon in mine. Now that may be too much bourbon, <laughs> but don't worry, it's gonna cook and the uh, alcohol is all gonna cook out of that. So look what I got. I got my sauces done, got the bourbon in there, and we're gonna uh, set this aside and deal with the chicken. So stay tuned. So here's my chicken. I've got about a pound and a half 
of chicken thighs. Now some people say use chicken breast. I like chicken thighs. They're, uh, they've got more flavor to them. We're going to take some uh, salt and pepper, butcher salt and pepper, and season our meat. You got to season your meat. That's the most important thing. And you want to get the seasoning on the chicken uh, ahead of time because what we're going to do next is we're going to put some cornstarch on top of that. And you want the seasoning to be, I need to use my uh, teaspoon again because I forgot to bring something to mix with. I'm going to put more, more uh, salt and pepper on that. Salt and pepper your chicken first and then put your cornstarch on. That way the salt and pepper will be underneath the, the uh, cornstarch. Because we're going to throw some cornstarch on there. Salt and pepper. Don't worry about using too much. It'll be fine. And then we just want to take some cornstarch and uh, dredge that chicken in cornstarch. A little bit of cornstarch on the chicken. That'll make it nice and crispy when we start frying it. So let me get that mixed up in there. Our cornstarch on the chicken. It's already been seasoned, salt and pepper. And the cornstarch is on top. That way the, the uh, seasoning will stay on the chicken. The cornstarch will hold it in. Sorry. Sorry I'm using this uh, measuring spoon to mix with, but that's just the way it goes. I forgot a spoon. Forgot to bring a spoon out and I'm too lazy to go get one. So there you go. All right, yeah, that's about it. That's the, uh, the chicken. And now we can uh, start cooking this mess. So stay tuned. Okay, I've got the griddle lit up. We're gonna throw down some olive oil. I've got the left side on medium. The right side is turned off. Like I said, we're going to throw down some olive oil on the left side only because we're only cooking with the left side today for now. And we've got some about four cloves of garlic minced up and some uh, spring onion. And we're going to get that cooking on the griddle. Get that cooked up. Smells good already. Cooking our Aromatics is what it is. It's some spring onions and about four cloves of garlic that we got to cook up. Let's get them going. You can, they're starting to uh, really smell good. Let's get that moving. Get that cooking along. Stay tuned. All right, the garlic and the onion are starting to smell good. Let's get our chicken on there. Drop some chicken on there. It's been dredged in cornstarch. Get that spread out on there. We're shallow frying the chicken is what we're doing. I'm gonna throw down some more oil, I think. Yeah, baby. Dump all that chicken on there. Get that spread out. My uh, spatula thingy. There we go. Chicken's in like bite-sized pieces, just as you would imagine. Okay, got all that onion and garlic down there. Starting to cook. Chicken's been seasoned and floured with cornstarch. Okay, doing great. Doing great so far. Just got to spread that out. I want to get a little bit of a crust on that chicken. Just a little bit. Doesn't have to be too much because we are going to dunk it in that sauce after a while. But we want to get a little golden brown to that chicken. And uh, stay tuned. I'll show you what that looks like when it gets a little more done. Uh, the chicken's been cooking for about 10 minutes on there. We're just going to... Uh, Roll it over a couple of times. It's got some nice color to it. We're going to take this chicken and slide it over to the relatively cooler side of the griddle. It's going to continue to cook, but not as vigorously as it would if it was on the hot side. So move that over there. Get my chicken over there. Let that keep warm over there. Scrape the griddle down a little bit. And get my... Uh, sauce on here. 
get the sauce on the hot part of the griddle. And we'll stir that, cooking it. I think I'll turn the heat up a little bit. And we'll stir that sauce, cooking it until it thickens, until it comes to a boil and thickens. And man, let me tell you what, that smells good already. Let me get these uh, last little pieces of onions and garlic over here on my chicken. My chicken pushed over a little bit to the relatively cooler side of the griddle. And uh, yeah, all I gotta do now is cook down my sauce. I'll show you what it looks like when it's almost done. I've got a cornstarch slurry standing by. If I wanna thicken the sauce, I can pour that in there. But meanwhile, that's gotta come up to, uh, to a boil. So stay tuned, I'll bring you right back. All right, my uh, bourbon chicken sauce has been bubbling away over here for a little while now. It's not quite to where I want it to be, so I think I'm going to put in this cornstarch slurry to thicken it a little bit. I want it to be a little thicker than that. So like I said, I've got this slurry made up. We're gonna dump that in there and that will thicken the uh, sauce beautifully, should. We'll stir that a little bit, let it come back to a boil. And what you gotta do is you gotta get it to coat the back of a spoon, at least. I'm gonna cook it up some more though. I wanna cook it more than that. You want it to get it to, not quite to a syrupy consistency, but you want it to be rather thick. Cause we wanna coat that chicken well, and that bourbon, all the alcohol is burnt off the bourbon by now, but the beautiful bourbon flavor is still lingering. You can smell it, it smells so good. Let me check my uh, consistency here. It's almost where it'll coat the back of a spoon. It just needs to boil a little longer. And when it gets to where I want it, I will shut off the heat, put the chicken back in there, then it'll be time to uh, eat, almost. Let me get my bourbon sauce boiled up a little bit. I put that cornstarch in there to thick, help thicken it. Let's look at it one more time. Yeah, I, I'd say that's coating the back of the spoon. But I want to thicken it just a little more than that. Like I said, I don't want it syrupy, but I want it thick. Okay. All right. Okay. As soon as that thickens up, I'll drop the chicken back in there. We'll uh, plate this up and take a taste. So stay tuned. Oh, it smells amazing. Stay tuned. All right, the bourbon chicken is done. There's the Frosty Root Boy mug, star of the show, as I've said many, so many times before. Here's today's beer. I guess it's kind of strange we're having an Italian beer with our uh, bourbon chicken, but I guess it's okay. This is Birra Italia, Milano, and it's uh, 1906. I can't read those tiny little letters, so I have no idea about anything else about this beer. <laughs> if you need to know, you'll just have to look it up because I can't read those tiny little letters on the, that bottle, but I'm pretty sure I'm guessing it's a lager, okay? It's an Italian beer. It's a beautiful beer. Let's take a look at that. That looks good. It's a nice beer. Yeah. Let's take a sniff of that, Rob. That'll go with our bourbon chicken. I'm dry. I can barely talk. Here we go. Take a sniff. Ah, smells great. It's a nice light, not light beer, but it's a nice light lager, I think. Anyway, let's quaff the froth off it, Rob. Oh yeah, my bourbon chicken is done. Let me turn the camera around and I'll take a taste of it. Stay tuned. Okay, my bourbon chicken is done. Here's what it looks like. It's beautiful, isn't it? I can't wait to get some of this in my mouth. I uh, made some rice and poured it over the rice. I'm gonna get a little bit of rice on my fork. Piece of that bourbon chicken. Look at that. Don't that look good? I know it's gonna taste good. Mm. Oh boy. That is awesome. Oh. You can taste the bourbon. Because I put 
I put a good bit of bourbon in there. Oh. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's delicious. Doesn't it look good? Mmm. Baby. I'm drinking Italian beer with bourbon chicken. I have no idea where bourbon chicken originated. Mmm. Oh, that pepper is tasty. It's very tasty. Let me take a swig. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. Hey, you know what I always say. If you like this crap, please subscribe. If you don't, go up on the iCard and visit my friend Rivet Gardner. His name is John. John has been doing collaborations with uh, my buddy Patty Joe and together they made some awesome shrimp curry last week that was just to die for. Go up and see John uh, Rivet Gardner in the iCard. Subscribe to him. Subscribe to me. Come back next week. I got something special planned for next week. I don't know if I should talk about it or not. It's going to be out of my wheelhouse and out of my comfort zone. But we're going to cook a Japanese dish that I think you're going to like. So yeah, that's my video, babies. We'll see you next week. Bye!